Tonight, we're getting our first look at the father charged in connection with the death of his seven year old daughter. 47 year old Wilbert Thomas is accused of driving drunk on I-94 and crashing his car. His daughter survived the crash, but was later killed after trying to get help along the freeway. Larry Spruill joins us tonight with the charges he's now facing. Mr. Thomas, do you understand what you're being charged with? Yes, Your Honor. In a still manner, 47-year-old Wilbert Dion Thomas stood in front of a judge Saturday morning, hearing the charges he's now facing for his involvement with the death of his 7-year-old daughter. Police say on July 15th, Thomas was driving west on Interstate 94 under the influence of alcohol and weed with his 7-year-old daughter. That's when he crashed a van into a disabled car parked on the shoulder. After the accident, 7-year-old Cassandra Thomas left the van to go get help but was hit by another driver. She died on the scene. Saturday, Thomas is facing charges of involuntary manslaughter, child abuse in the second degree, operating under the influence, occupant, controlled possession of marijuana and alcohol, and open container violation. But the most serious charge. Charged with one count of second degree murder. That's a felony offense. If convicted, you face up to life in prison. Local forest Paula Tubman talked with the mom after the accident. The mother originally said she did not want the father to go to jail. Saturday, I reached back out to the mother of little Desandra. The family tells me they did not know all of the facts of that case at the time. Now the family wants justice for her. The judge set bond for $1 million. Thomas then asked the judge this question. There is no way I would ever give you a personal bond. Thomas is due back in court on August 22nd. Reporting in Romulus, Larry Sproul, Local 4.